Unlike other overhead cam Yamaha or Star models, the V-Star 1100 cam chain is not directly attached to the crankshaft. The chain is actually attached on a spring-dampened idler gear that's driven by the crankshaft. The cam timing procedure listed in the service manual is correct, but may be a little confusing since all the required steps are not listed together in one section. This video will go through the complete cam timing procedure for both cylinders, starting with the top ends and the cam chain drive parts all disassembled. Install the Woodruff key and the primary drive gear onto the right side of the crankshaft. Identify the two cam chain drive gears. The gear with the number 2 stamped on it is for the rear cylinder, and the gear with the number 3 stamp is for the front cylinder. Both cam chains are the same. Install a chain onto each cam chain drive gear, and install the correct gear into each side of the crankcase. Install the drive gear shaft retainers and make sure the fingers of the retainer fit into notches on the shafts and torque the bolts. Rotate the crankshaft so the Woodruff key on the right side of the crankshaft lines up with the cam chain drive gear center line. The cam chain drive gears are zero lash scissor type gears. Start a 6 mm diameter tapered punch into the alignment hole in the gear and then wedge the punch in further to fully align the gear teeth. If you've replaced one of these gears, it comes from the factory with a 6 mm pin already inserted into the hole. Be sure to remove this pin after installation. The right and left timing gears are not interchangeable. Only the gear with the larger ID will fit onto the primary drive gear. Install two damper springs and two limiter dowels into each of the three slots in the right primary drive gear. Use grease to help hold the springs and dowels in place. Make sure the three engagement dogs on the timing gear are centered between the damper springs and dowels and that the single punch mark on the right side of the timing gear is aligned with the single punch mark on the cam chain drive gear and that the gear teeth are aligned. Tap the timing gear on using a 36 mm socket and a plastic mallet to make sure the engagement dogs are fully seated between the damper springs and dowels. The alignment marks on the cam chain drive gears are only used to time the gear to the crankshaft. These are not used for camshaft timing. Due to the ratio between these gears, they only line up once every 10 crankshaft revolutions. Install the right side crankshaft washer and a new lock washer. Install the nut, torque to specification, and fold over the lock washer. You can now remove the punch from the cam chain drive gear. Support both cam chains so they don't bind, and rotate the crankshaft until the Woodruff key on the left side of the crankshaft lines up with the cam chain drive gear center line. Install two damper springs and two limiter dowels into each of the three slots on the back of the generator rotor. Make sure the punch mark on the drive gear is aligned with the Woodruff key groove on the rotor and that the three engagement dogs are centered between the damper springs and dowels and push the gear into the rotor and make sure to fully seat the gear down into the damper springs. Align the Woodruff key on the left side of the crank and the double punch marks on the left cam chain drive gear. Insert the 6 mm taper punch into the cam chain drive gear alignment hole like we did on the other gear to align the teeth. Make sure the starter idler gear and shaft are installed. Clean the taper on the crankshaft and in the rotor. Install the Woodruff key and then the generator rotor onto the crank, making sure the cam timing gear teeth and the cam chain drive gear teeth mesh. Install the washer and rotor holding nut on the crank and torque to spec. You can now remove the punch from the cam chain drive gear. Make sure the washer is on the shift shaft and temporarily install the left engine cover and check that the line next to the T-mark on the rotor lines up with the center mark in the timing inspection hole. This is top dead center for the rear cylinder. Make sure the locating pin on the camshaft is facing up so that the intake and exhaust valves are closed. Install the cam chain guides and both cylinder and cylinder head assemblies using the steps in the appropriate service manual. Install the rear cylinder cam sprocket. Make sure the single punch mark on the cam sprocket is aligned with the timing mark on the cylinder head. Install the rear cylinder cam chain tensioner. Install the washer and bolt and torque to spec. And double check that the punch mark is still aligned with the cylinder head mark. Now support the front cylinder cam chain and turn the crankshaft 290 degrees clockwise and align the single line on the rotor with the center of the timing inspection hole. This is top dead center for the front cylinder. Install the front cylinder cam sprocket and make sure the single punch mark on the cam sprocket is aligned with the timing mark on the cylinder head. Install the front cylinder cam chain tensioner, then install the crankcase breather plate with the punch mark aligned with the cylinder head mark. Install the washer and bolt and torque to spec. Now rotate the engine several times and make sure the cam timing for both cylinders is still correct. Finally, complete installation of the engine covers and assemble and adjust the rest of the unit as needed using the procedures in the appropriate service manual. Thanks for watching.